Coming up today, eating just one serving of fresh water fish could be equal to drinking contaminated water every day for an entire month. Australian park rangers found a potentially record-breaking giant and toxic toad that eats anything that fits into her mouth. They named her Toadzilla. And China's Hyperloop project, which aims to develop Georgia fast land transfer technology, which speeds up to 1000 km per hour, has successfully completed its first test runs using a full size passenger capsule. Hello everyone, my name is Michael and you're watching MW Newscast. These are the news in detail. First story, freshwater fish, highly contaminated with forever chemicals. According to a recent study by the Public Health Advocate Environmental Working Group, EWG in the US, eating just one locally caught freshwater fish could be equivalent to drinking water that is highly contaminated with forever chemicals every day for a month. Researchers analyzed US government data derived from 501 samples of fish fillet collected across the United States at different periods since 2013 under two monitoring programs of the United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA. The research found that locally caught freshwater fish are far more polluted with forever chemicals than those commercially caught. The majority of fish from rivers and streams across the United States are potentially a significant source of exposure to these chemicals. Fish caught near urban areas typically had higher levels of contamination. Highest levels were found in several species of bass and catfish, while the lowest relative levels were found in Chinook and Coho salmon. The study was published last week in the Environmental Research Journal. For sure, similar situations is happening in other parts of the world. Next, giant cane toad found in Australia weighing 2.7 kilograms could be the world largest. Park rangers at the Conway National Park in Queensland State, Australia have discovered possibly the biggest cane toad ever recorded in Dr. Toadzilla. The amphibian was brought to the ranger's office and at that specific time, it weighed in at 2.7 kilograms, 6 pounds. The animal had to be euthanized due to its ecological impact, the usual fate for the toads across Australia. Toads are one of Australia's most damaging pests and are now estimated to number over 2 billion. The body was donated to the Queensland Museum for Research. Cane toads are native to South and Central America and were introduced to Australia in 1935 to deal with beetles destroying Queensland's sugar cane crops. The toads mainly eat living insects, but will consume anything they swallow including pet food and household scraps. The current Guinness World Record for the largest toad in history is 2.65 kilograms, set by a pet toad named Prinsen or the Prince in Sweden in 1991. A real toadzilla, really huge! Last start of the day, China's Hyperloop train completes successful test runs and full size passenger capsule. China has by far the world's largest high speed rail network with a total length exceeding 26,000 miles, 42,000 kilometers, and is followed by Spain, small in comparison, with just over 3,000 kilometers. China has ambitious plans to increase the maximum speed of its trains to 248 miles per hour, 400 km per hour in the next two years, and it has been investing heavily in hyperloop technology. Hyperloop concept is the idea of putting a train in vacuum tubes with no air. Although in the past there were concepts similar to the hyperloop-like factory from Robert Goddard, it's Elon Musk, the Tesla CEO, who took the idea seriously. But it seems like China was able to overtake Elon when it comes to testing the actual Hyperloop concept. China is the first one to demonstrate an ultra-fast train inside a vacuum environment, inside a tube. Last week, testings with full-sized passenger capsule were completed successfully, reaching speeds of up to 50 km per hour, traveling a distance of 210 meters each time. 
The goal of the next generation train is to eventually carry passengers and cargo at a speed of 1000 km per hour, 621 miles per hour or faster in the future, and if successful, would be the world's fastest ground-based transport technology. It will almost reach the airspeed of some airplanes. Wonderful! That makes end of his edition. Thanks for watching MT Music's. Subscribe and hit the notification button for alerts on new stories happening around the world and the universe. Again, my name is Michael. I wish you have a great day ahead.